All right, James here, Robertson Family Racing Pigeons, Jarloft. Thanks you for uh, coming back to the channel. Um, here are some perches that I just put together. And uh, I'm gonna put these in the Youngbird Loft because I've got that third round of youngsters I gotta move over. But anyways, I'm just gonna show these to y'all and uh, kind of show you how I do it. So, Normally, a uh, one by four at like Home Depot or Lowe's or the equivalent uh, costs uh, one by four by eight feet costs about six bucks, a little over six dollars. And I don't like to pay six dollars. So what I do instead is I get a two by four, which is what this is, and I rip it down the middle. I rip it with my table saw, flip the whole board over, and then rip it again. And then I get this nice board that's essentially a one by four, but I get it for um, very little. So a two by four is like $2.50 about. And so, yeah, it's a, it's a good deal. Um, so I'll rip it and then I'll get two of those. And then I had some scrap wood and some one by fours and then a little bit of the leftover PVC trim that's a one by four that I used. And what I do to kind of help seat the, uh, the perches is I route a one quarter inch groove right there. And I just set those in, kind of pound them in place, throw in one or two staples, just hold them in place and then put in a few screws. And so far, I like this design. It's been uh, simple. It's a good way to get lots of perches and uh, relatively cheaply. And it's uh, pretty easy, you know, and I can uh, move these around, take them on and off really quickly. Just put in, you know, like one, two, three screws and it's up on the wall. So it's, uh, it's easy to move around and have that uh, flexibility when needed. Anyways, I'm gonna get these up and then I'm gonna move the third round into my loft. But there they are. Okay, here we go. Okay, so it has been pretty amazingly humid the last couple days here in Maryland. Right now, even though we have cloudy skies, it's pretty muggy. So anyways, I just got this fan going. Probably for the pigeons, probably for me as I work out here. Mostly for the pigeons. My wife actually came and put it out here yesterday when she was out watering plants. She thought of the birds and thought, oh wow, they're probably pretty hot. Let me set up a fan for them, which was pretty thoughtful. All right, so those are the youngsters there on the ground. That we're going to be moving over but as it stands right now there is seriously no space for them come back over here I really don't have a lot of perch space so i've been kind of going back and forth don't want to put the new perches along there on the back wall or don't want to put them on the side wall don't want to move these Perches to the other wall. I don't know. So, let's see here. I think I will, what I'll probably do is take down that perch that they all are standing on. That was just kind of a quick fix to uh, provide some sort of perch when I was putting in that first round several months ago. Um, so I'm just gonna take that down. You can see it's just put on with two brackets. So, really easy. Uh, I'll remove that and then get these other perches up. See how it looks. All right, here we go. So, the other thing I really like about this style of perch is, believe it or not, so I've, I've measured these out to five and a half inches, the block is. 
And so, you know, it's set in a quarter of an inch, so it extends five and a quarter inches. But believe it or not, I really never have to scrape these. The birds always just go off the side. I have never scraped those perches. <laughs> Which is nice. Now granted, I only have two birds living there, but the same is true for these perches. I mean, there's one or two little turds on there, but really, I never scraped those. Uh, every once in a while, you get one or two that I'll clean up, but it's not like it's a daily thing that I have to scrape, so that's nice. Thankful for that. So, just another, uh, another benefit to that style of perch. Alrighty, we're gonna get these up. Okay. Got perches in. So, it is now time to move that third round on over. Let's do it. Make a little video of each one of these guys. See how they're doing. See what we think of them. All right, here we go. All right, here is the first one. This is 11818, a black widow in Kronos. This one I didn't even think was gonna be a black. When it first started um, growing, when its feathers first started coming out of the little quills, it almost looked like it was gonna be a slate. But it did end up being a black. So here it is. And it's got one little white flight on that side, so that's kind of cool. So it's gonna be a cock. Should be a good sized cock, good sized bird. All right, cool. All right, little buddy. I'm gonna put you in your new loft. As you can hear, it is raining. Here's the nest mate to that last one. It also got a white flight in there. You can see that it's about to drop that first primary, primary flight feather. It's starting to poke out, so it's getting pushed out with its adult primary flight feather. So the feathers come in a little bit bigger. Yeah. So it has a little bit of a third bar going on. So it's got a white flight on both sides. Yeah, nice little bird. Star and Djibouti. It's a really pretty bird. I like that dark face. It's beautiful. It's going to be real beautiful when it molts. It has its adult feathering in. Yeah, this one's nice. I like this. Actually, it's already dropped one. No, it hasn't. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm blind. That's its first one. All right. We'll go put this one in. All right. 
right. There it is. Nest mate. The last one, obviously. Didn't need to tell you that. This one's a little bit more flighty than that last one. I'm trying to get away here. Another beautiful bird. Hopefully it flies as well as it looks. We'll see. Again, the sire is the Lone Star. The dam is Djibouti. Ooh, one's down, okay. out of the Quavis hen. A white flight on that final flight feather. Another white flight on that side. I always think it's fun when they get a white flight in there. It's kind of cool. A lot of vibration in this bird. Does that mean anything? Who knows? But it has it. One has a light colored beak, as you can see. Cool bird. All right, here's the next one. Nest mate, that last one, also had the clay this hand. Straight up blue bar. Nice little bird. All right, buddy. Enjoy your new, new loft. Going there with your big brothers and sisters. All right, last two. This one. This one is out of Athena in 836. It's a really strong bird. Feathers are still growing out a little bit there. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a nice bird. One more. Okay, after having just felt all of them, this one may be my favorite. This feels really nice and strong. Again, out of Athena in 836. Oh man, maybe, maybe his name should be Thunder or Thor. <laughs> That was well timed. Four. <laughs> so it just has a, kind of a long keel that goes back, a lot of muscle. So, I always like that. Okay, that's all of them. That's all the... It's pretty dark in here this time of day. It's uh, late in the evening. So oh, there they go. I'll find a purchase. Find your purchase, guys. Here they are. Bunch of young birds. It'll be fun training these guys, flying them. Pretty sweet. Hallelujah, that puppy is still watertight. Yes. And as you can see, uh, there's just some old uh, closet shelving, this kind of wire rack shelving. 
that I put up there and I plan to put uh, extend it just to the very end right there and then right there so that this corridor will be completely contained so the birds can be in this corridor and I don't have to worry about them going up over there which has happened it's been kind of a pain to get them down <laughs> but this is nice I just have them hanging there and I can just lift it all the way up and I can still store stuff there and have it down so yeah anyway pretty cool eggs over here are hatching after the after they raise these youngsters um, we're gonna switch up the pairs and I'll just raise one or two more youngsters out of maybe two pairs and then we'll be done we'll let these guys rest for a few months separate the cocks and the hens but yeah it's starting to rain which is great because my grass is really thirsty even though we've been watering it a whole bunch so yeah i'm happy about the rain yay all right as always thanks for watching appreciate your support and uh there'll be more coming soon Everyone have a great day and stay safe. Adios.